Hello everyone. Um, this is Vintage Inspirations. Thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope everybody's doing well. Today I will be taking you to the Last Chance Thrift Store on North Decatur Road in Atlanta, Georgia. This is their jewelry display case. Unfortunately, I was unable to purchase anything. And I actually was kind of empty. Um... And, you know, no vintage, so I didn't purchase anything. That's the uh, display shelves behind the um, counter. They have some beautiful items up there. The, pr the prices on the items behind the counter are always high. Always. Because it's like good quality items. That's why they stock them back there. Even they have like shoes. Those shoes are very expensive. So this is a way of a store, uh, you know, to um, bring more revenue in, which is amazing. They put the higher end items on the display behind the counter so they can charge more. <laughs> and as you can see, no vintage, just modern costume. That was cute. That thing to the right. Remember those? You had to push the ball and then it goes up into the water. I forget what those were called, but that was a basketball one. I did ask to look at that bag of rocks, but it was nothing that my interest. And then we're starting into the store. Um, I didn't think I'd have to do a voiceover because in this area there was no music. But, oh, man, as soon as you go up a few feet, they had that loud music going. <laughs> I thought maybe I could get away with not doing a voiceover. But this is kind of like a catch-all shelf. Those were cute. The Easter uh, knife. That's cute. And then a glass Christmas plate. A nice figurine with some um, animals. What else do we have here? Some silver plate. Some glass vases. Beautiful. They got them so nice and clean. That was a copper, like a modern piece. I guess you would hang it up on your wall. That was interesting. It was a glass, like a Christmas glass, vintage. Oh, perhaps it was like a decal for your wall to hang up. No, because it has the Velcro underneath. I'm not sure. But it was vintage, nevertheless. Isn't that like a candy container, the beer? And those are cute. I know everyone's seen those before, those flattened bottles. As for um, displaying in your kitchen. And as soon as you pick that up, you can tell it was not vintage. I mean, not antique. It was so lightweight. And those were beautiful. I bought those. Yes, I bought those. They were beautiful. Ironstone. Ironstone is the top when it comes to um, ceramics and restaurant wear. They have some good quality. And they were in brand new condition. You know, normally when you find them, they have scratches. These were brand new condition. And they didn't, those didn't make, those plates weren't in the hall. I do apologize. I always leave a bag in the car because I have to make uh, two trips. I think that was a book in at some point. A cheat, is that a cheat? Oh, that's for your cake. Yes, uh, to serve your slice of cake. Lots of trophies. I've been to this store before. This is my second trip. And this is the mug section. A Christmas mug. Those were gorgeous. Those were vintage. Forgot who makes that. Um, oh, I forgot the name. Those were cute. Christmas mugs. Uh, those were Norman Rockwell. Those are collectible mugs. 
Most of Norman Rockwell pro items are collectibles. And those orange and white mugs were cute too. I forgot who made those. I thought that was Campbell's soup, but it didn't have a um, mark. And most of the Campbell's soup items are marked. I love that. The peppermint. And it actually says holiday peppermint something. It's so cute. <laughs> it was a couple of them. I think that uh, saucer and cup was Wedgwood. And I got there very early at 9 a.m. You see, I almost had the store all to myself. It was beautiful. I think that's like a biscuit jar. I'm not sure what that was. It was made out of glass. And this was cute. The clown, it was gorgeous, but it was a piece missing up front. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Um, who made that? Red Rags, I think it was called. Six ninety nine. See right there, something was broke off. I wasn't sure, but that's sad. And this store has um, aisles of shelves, and then they have like end caps on each end. That's a top to something. Texas. That's cute. 69 cents. They have this store has the best prices. Well, this was beautiful. It had a chip, so I left it. Oh, uh, that's hand painted. This is this is, um a designer. I forget the name. I have a couple pieces that makes this type of art, but this is a knockoff. And I already have a knockoff piece of that this artist, so I didn't want a second one. But and then that chip, so I left that. That was a hobbyist piece. That was pretty. And this is mostly dishes on this shelf. And that was beautiful. It was hand painted. That was nice. Love Leslie. Oh. <laughs> they have tons of silverware. I wanted to look through the silverware. I forgot. I liked his little Scottish outfit. Now, you'll know I wanted to bring him home. Five dollars. That was a steal. <laughs> New in the box. Beautiful. And that's somebody's home project. Someone made something. I'm not sure what that was. That was nice. They had a cute, a lot of cute glass um, votive candle holders. That was gorgeous. That was a milk glass bottle. Antique. I couldn't really tell if it was antique or made to look antique, so I left it. I believe it, because you know, Target and these type of stores, they make items like that. And that was so cute. Oh, that was made in Japan. It's a music box. Six ninety nine. Isn't that a fabulous price? It's in a brand new condition. No chips, no cracks, no scratches, no nothing. And then we had a tree topper angel. This store is huge. It's like a big giant warehouse. It's huge. I was overwhelmed. I was in here for two hours. 
And I think I sat down three times. That was cute. A little wicker basket. <laughs> oh, I wish I had the space for that. That was real cute. I should have bought it. That would have been cute for one of my dolls. I didn't think of it. It's too late now. I'm sure it, it may be there. Like a doll like her. She could fit right in there. And y'all know I have a lot of dolls. I didn't think of it. Well, it's too late now. I wasn't sure what this was, but I'm assuming it was a rattle because it rattled when you shaked it. Yeah. I thought it was a perfume bottle at first, but then I realized it wasn't. And things like this are so beautiful, but it's kind of hard for me to show it, but I try my best. But that was beautiful. This is the metal section. And then they have these long wooden shelves along the side of the store and they're packed. I almost wanted to buy those, but I know I, I don't have anywhere to put them, but they're gorgeously made. It's like vintage style. They were in great condition. One was $1.99 and the other one was $3.99. A great price. And this is beautiful. I held that little blue thing around with me too. It was time to check out. <laughs> I decided to leave it. Because, you know, I love the royal blue and then you can hang it. But it had like a basketball, I mean a baseball theme on it. And I'm not into baseball. You see, it's a mitt and a um, bats and a hat. So I held on to that thing for dear life. <laughs> now that was gorgeous. That was beautiful. Oh. I think I should have I should have put that in the cart, but it's just one. I forget the name of that glass maker, but it's a designer. Um, what's the name? Oh, I can't think of it. There was a lot of those pieces with the gold and the white. I even put one in my buggy and kept it with me for a while, but I didn't purchase it. That was beautiful. That was an antique. I believe you put your cake on it. It may or may not have a, a, a top, but that was beautiful. I tend to find those all the time. Uh, platters with um, fruits on it. Yeah, that was beautiful. That pink little pot. I wasn't sure. Do you cook with that or is that just for storing food? It looked like a pot. Sometimes I forget I'm filming. I do apologize. 
That was cute. $2.99. I couldn't make out the name. It was in another language. I love vintage barware, although I don't have any. I used to have a lot. I sold it all. And they had these beautiful crystals, but it was all modern stuff. Um, I thought that was the real McCoy, but they were so lightweight. <laughs> that looks, it's, you can look at it and tell it's not vintage. <laughs> they try to make it look like it, though. Once you pick it up and you see, I'm looking like, is this what I think it is? But it's too light. The antique stuff is not light. It's heavy. And then I found the candy dish and I had the candy dish in the car. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I knew it wasn't real, but um, you just never know. But I said, it got it's It's heavy. It's heavy. If you touch, if you touch the uh, antique stuff, it's going to be heavy. Any type of crystal that's antique or vintage, it's not going to be light. Isn't that beautiful? It's a hobbyist piece. It's gorgeous. You could use it for like a trinket dish. That was beautiful. If I had a space, it would have went in my cart because that was beautiful. That black and red. Oh, beautiful. And that's cute. And that fooled me. That was plastic. That was a little Asian dragon. That was gorgeous. You know, if you just move into your apartment or your house... You should start a YouTube channel because you can purchase lots of things. Like you can have a cart full and then you can go home and display them, you know, clean everything and then display it. And like you could really make some good videos. They had such beautiful piece of furniture, but I can't purchase it. My house is fully furnished. I can't get anything out. And in fact, I might need to throw a few things out. So I can't really purchase much but small little items here and there these shelves are beautiful aren't they these wooden shelves they are beautiful solid wood that was beautiful uh, little red riding hood by Kessler those went in the cart but I decided to leave it oh <laughs> see Kaiser and that beautiful detail in the back oh, those were beautiful and look at that cat that was a gorgeous cat and dressed in red and that was the same designer Oh, I'm kind of sad now that I left them in the store, but I don't have anywhere to hang them. Oh, that was a nice piece, too. Wow. I never saw a fish like that made out of, like, that type of... Uh, I'm not even... I think that's, like, bamboo wood. Mm, some kind of wood. No, balsa wood. I've never seen that. I always see, like, the plastic or ceramic fish oh, they always have such beautiful things at the thrift that was from Pier 1 if I was really in the process of selling things I would have picked that up because that's an easy flip Pier 1 items are amazing it was just too big for me to try to store now 
Once I start selling, I can pick up medium-sized items because I will be in business and things will be flowing. But right now, I can only pick up small little things where I could stuff in a drawer. Those are some nice Italian bowls. That's uh, ceramic, yes. And these shelves against the wall, they kind of just put anything up there, but it's mostly uh, kitchenware. And this is a uh, just a metal catch-all. <laughs> it's a, a a mess. I should have purchased that. That's so beautiful. You hang your uh, jewelry on it. And I had a few when I moved in, and I got rid of them. So. That was um interesting. I was trying to see who made it. It didn't have any mark, but it was beautifully made. In great detail. We have some uh, muffin pans, napkin holders. That was nice. They had an Art Deco look. I mean, not an Art Deco look, like a diner from the 60s look. A big giant pepper. That's beautiful. Candle holder, teapot. I was trying to leave that section, but it kept calling me. <laughs> and here's another end cap. Cute little trinkets, bowls. Sugar. Oh, I didn't see that. You see that? The glass with the chrome on top? Oh, I would have grabbed that. That's for your sugar. Oh, I missed that. That's beautiful. That right there. Little house. You hang that up. That's gorgeous. I missed that sugar jar. And these caught my eye. And those were two, and then I found another one. Aren't they beautiful? Like the colors was just so beautiful. Well, that was some good, good, good porcelain. Those were uh, coasters. I didn't, um, I didn't purchase them. I'm not sure what that was. A game, a little house. They had a lot of coasters in beautiful, brand new condition. Some glass vases, a bowl of fruit. That was so cheap. It was. It felt like I lifted nothing. I expected it to be heavy. It was so lightweight. And that was some kind of board. You could hang stuff on it. I guess display. That would be cute in your kitchen. Like you got that farmhouse kitchen. And this is a wood section. Everything here is pretty much wood. Jewelry box. Coconut head. You know how they shape the coconut into a monkey? I love those. I used to collect them. I was trying to see what this was. I still don't know. Because I don't know what it was saying. Forge craft? Maybe that was for some... Oh, a set of knives, perhaps. Yeah, I should have purchased that. That's a nice find. You put your butter knives in it. Beautiful birdhouse. Happy sign. A knife holder, some more coconut shells, a cute Christmas monkey, or oh, is that a teddy bear? Can't tell. Looks like a teddy bear. And I fell in love with this uh, leopard print candle holder thing. I'll go back to it. You'll see. Yeah, that was quite gorgeous. 
quite gorgeous. This vintage too is beautiful. A little sleeping cat, oh, a lighthouse with an aquarium on it. This with some letter blocks. Just trying to see what it said, but it's too heavy to lift up. That box was there the last time. It's a um, box for your um, silverware. A welcome to our home sign, a little country girl. Picture frames, a cross. You know, I got excited when I saw that cross, but it was nothing on it. Whatever was on it broke off. Another coconut monkey. Oh, it was so cute. <laughs> Some letters. A duck. Mm -hmm. Little advertisement sign. Those were some cute vintage pieces. Beautiful. You got that ephemera little uh, cutout on there. That was cute. I was so interested. Jewelry box. And then I found that for my miniature spoons. <laughs> it's a holder. I love it for a dollar and change. I couldn't believe it. Mm. So I already have one, so now I have two. So now I need to find a spot and hang them up. I got to get them oiled and polished. That was a nice cast iron piece. Nice bucket. A blue basket. That was beautifully made. It was a winter scene. It was beautiful. You see the frosted around the edges. It was so heavy and antique. It was beautiful. I should have showed it a little bit more. I do apologize. And you know, I love those little greenery pieces. I think it was 39 cents. Jewelry box. A hobbyist piece, a uh, salt and pepper apple, those are green apples, a globe, some signage. I love how they hang their little signage up on their hooks. It's so cute. Another jewelry holder, a metal figurine. This is the Christmas section. So they have a Christmas and an Easter section. And these were some cute little carolers. Those were hobbyist pieces. They did a great job. <laughs> they had scarecrows, gnomes. Like I said, if you have a new house, you can buy all this stuff and decorate. It's just amazing. can do room by room. I'm not sure what these things are made out of. Are those coconut shells too? This, those are new. This is a beautiful little Easter project somebody did. Oh, it's beautiful. You see that? Gorgeous. <laughs> you know I wanted to bring that home. Some baskets, another, I'm not sure what those are made out of. It's like, I don't know, some kind of material they use. That was like a hanging bird. It was in rough condition. Oh. Another angel, a sled, some Thanksgiving items, Christmas, a bag of Christmas, like angels. They were so broken. It was such a shame. The red was peeling off of that. That's why I left it. That was a cute little find. It's 
See, some, someone must have dropped the bag and the head busted off. So sad. Not sure what that was. And that was a wreath. Some more baskets. And it was a dusty shoe. It had dust as thick. I don't know where that shoe came from. And they had a beautiful Mardi Gras bag of bees that I just moved, but I'll come back to it and show it. So you have to bend to the ground to dig in these bins. And that Oh, oh, it causes me a lot of pain. Isn't that a beautiful bag of Mardi Gras? Like if you want to do some type of decoration or something for Mardi Gras, just amazing. And it's worth digging because I found a cute little piece. Here it goes right there. fell out of the bag. That is too cute. A sand dollar. It's by Blue Sky. Yeah. That's beautiful. Blue Sky Ceramics are really, really popular these days. They have another name, too, other than Blue Sky. I forget the name of it. I had to look at the little piece because it says it on there. But don't go, don't bypass those bins. It's worth digging because you never know what you may find in there. I normally bypass them. I, I, I said I was going to uh, look in it today, and I'm glad I did. I got a cute little um, piece that I could, um, uh, that's for resale. And I collect those, um, stationery by Crane, but when I opened it and looked, it wasn't worth buying, so I didn't purchase that. But Crane is a great, um, vintage, um, stationery company. They make some great stationery. And that's Crane, C-R-A-N-E. And then they have a lot of these bins. They put, like, birthday party things in there and yarn, and, wow, you can have... Make, they have such beautiful crafts at the thrift store. Sewing packs. Christmas cards, birthday cards. And I think that's the plastics. I normally don't go through the plastics. And this is the Easter section. I didn't see any vintage Easter. It was all modern pieces. And that fabric bunny in the back, that's vintage. I didn't even notice that. This caught my eye, but he broke the little owl. Oh, I would have bought that in a heartbeat. So this is little stand he broke off. That's sad. I should have purchased it. You could just glue it. You see how he stood right up, right? I hope somebody purchased him. I will buy Easter items. 
It's got to be vintage, though. I do like Fitz and Floyd Easter items. I used to have quite the collection. I sold them all for a lot of money. I almost bought this for that one little bunny, but I decided not to. Because I would have kept them all. See how cute he was? <laughs> little pink guy. He was too cute. <laughs> if I was in better health, I would have like hamsters and bunnies and a cat and a dog. But with my health, I really can't be taking care of pets. So I just don't. Not sure what that stuff was, but they had a lot of boxes, like little toys collections or something. I'm not sure what was going on with those boxes, but there's a bunch of bunnies. And this store has such beautiful art. Someone made a, a pumpkin totem pole. That was gorgeous. I don't know why I didn't show it enough. So I got excited when I saw that because I thought it could be Bakelite, but then I found another one and there's no way there would be two Bakelite mirrors in a store, so I put them back. <laughs> and I picked it up for resale because I already have one and I don't need two. I had it like four, I sold two and I gave my daughter one and then I have one. And she was darling, I wanted to bring her home, but... When I um, opened up the box, her leg was broke. That's so sad. So I left her. See? There goes another one. Yeah. Those are reproductions. They try to make them look like the Baker Light, but it's just plastic. Popcorn container, calculator, that was a little paint set. I should have grabbed that because I can put jewelry in it. I don't know why I didn't. It was only, what, 49 cents? I think that was for a man's watch. It was ruined. And this is the uh, small section of linens to the right there. And then they have a big old warehouse in the back with furniture, books, lamps, all type of stuff. This store is huge. Did I buy any linens? No. I grabbed a few linens, but I didn't purchase them. Dollies. Yeah, that container says dollies. And those are shower hooks or napkin rings. Mm -hmm. 
napkin holders. And then I got excited. I saw all these planners and it looked promising, but they're all cheaply made plastic or yeah, so the bunny was gorgeous. His ear was broke. Yeah, I would have purchased that. I do collect those. I'll show them to you when the weather gets warmer. Even that was so light. And that even looked promising. It looked vintage, but when you lift it, it was so light. And this is the catch-all, like, electrical appliances section, tools, uh, kind of like a man, man's uh, area, or manly area, because anybody can look there. They have sports finalia, football helmets. And then these lamps caught my eye. You know, I wanted to purchase them. That was beautiful. And then there was another gorgeous one. Isn't that beautiful with the candlestick holders on the side? Oh, they're gorgeous. I think that one was bronze and the other one is like an iron. Some kind of, some kind of metal. I'm so, I was not trying to make you dizzy, but I was—I didn't want to go up and down the aisle twice. So I was trying to not miss nothing on the left or the right side. <laughs> that was cute. A uh, magazine rack. I never saw one like that. It's kind of like a wicker style. That was beautiful. Oh, I wanted to bring it home. It was beautiful. It was a uh, solid cast iron. Gorgeous candlestick display uh, I don't even know why I left it there I should have just bought it home and found a spot because I don't have one I have a Christmas one here's the other match see that lamp yeah the match to the one that was on the ground they have some beautiful floor lamps I used to have a couple floor lamps, and over the years, I sold them or donated them. Kind of hate I don't I didn't keep one because remember I was having issues with my lighting early on. I could have used that, but I don't have issues with the lighting anymore. So. I'm trying to show you the um. The lighting. It's hard to show things when it's kind of like tall and in the air. Because <laughs> there's no back. Nothing back to hold. That was $30. That was cute. But some things are missing. And I don't think that globe goes to it. They had a vintage ironing board. Some backpacks. Some golf clubs. Some chairs. This is the back of the store. And then this is the toy section, which they have changed because the puzzles used to be here. So I was thinking they didn't have any puzzles, but they put the puzzles on the bookshelf, yeah, which I don't like because then everybody can see them, so then they'll go. See, when they put the puzzles here, sometimes puzzles get hidden, so you have a chance of buying, finding something beautiful. But when they display them, then people can see, and then they, you know... They sell quicker, but that's why they did it. Because if you can see it, it'll sell quicker. So I understand why they put them there. I don't even know what to say about this area. Um, This area needs some help. They need to throw some stuff out. Maybe, I don't know. It's just a mess. Like, how could a child even find a toy?
Cabbage Patch. Oh, she almost came home. It was a little boy. He was precious for one dollar. Ninety-nine cents. He was precious. I could have made him some clothes. I really wanted to bring him home. <laughs> he was so cute. <laughs> Oh, he was so cute. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to go back and get him. <laughs> Most of those plushes were all old and raggedy. Like, they just need to go in the trash. You know, even like the Goodwill and Value Village have some beautiful um plush, but all that stuff was just so t worn. Yeah, I stood her up so hopefully somebody can buy her. She was precious. Six ninety nine. Beautiful. Hope someone purchased her. There was another doll too. I used to like collecting dolls like her back in the days with them red lips. <laughs> And I don't know why they always cut their hair on these type of dolls. This is like a little stationary section. I meant to put that in the cart. I forgot them two little trays. I could put my gemstones or something in it, but I forgot about it. That's the back of the store. And then they have, they sell bed headboards, and here's the beautiful book house. And then I noticed the puzzles. Yeah, I even stopped the camera just so I could double check, but I didn't find anything. But you see how nicely they have a display, so now everybody can see what they have, and it's easy to sell, so... If you catch something here, you get lucky if they just sit it out. This was a nice puzzle. One dollar. Beautiful, beautiful children's vintage books. Just amazing. You can just fill up a whole nursery bookshelf for your uh, toddler. I, like I said before, I don't even know how to really show books. It's so time consuming because you can't show each book. You'll be there for two days. So I'm really not sure. I showed those because they were on display. But when it gets to this type of section, I don't know how to show it. Even if I get close up, you still can't really read the words. It's overwhelming, so I just kind of left. I didn't even really film the books this time because I don't know how to film them. I do like those books, but when I looked through it, it wasn't interesting, so I left it. And the reason why I look in the kids' sections in the book aisle, because that's where they will put gemstone books, because they look like kids' books because of the stones and the rocks. So most of my gemstone books I found in the kids' section. That was a good book, Paper Chase. Now these book sections, these bookshelves, there used to be nothing but antique books on them. I don't even really see one antique book anymore. This is all modern stuff now. Times have changed. 
was trying to see that, but then I saw it was cheaply made because it was peeling. It might have came out of a hotel. And this is my my little. I had a little tiny cart. It was almost full. It only came home with what like four four or five items. I'm proud of myself. I really am. Now, if I wasn't filming, I would have had more strength, and then I would have gone through each book to try to find one. I was going to buy that for resale, but I'm not sure if anyone's into that. I liked it. It's a candle holder, or you put your um, pot parade in there. I'm trying to open it here. I think it's for pot puree. It was in great condition. And that was a piece from Cuba, a statue. But it was so lightweight. I see why they put 99 cents on it. This was a beautiful piece, but it had a big old crack. It was from Kenya. And that's all uh, like some type of uh, beautiful African wood. That was gorgeous. Uh, beautiful. And then that was just plastic. So I left that. I left that. So these are the items that I took out my cart and left. Those were by um, Dillard's little trinket box. Left the book. And that was a beautiful piece. It was a handmade canoe out of some like animal material. Yeah. I think that blue thing goes back in the cart, but I eventually got rid of it because I did this at a whole nother location. So I did put back most of these things, but then um, I left the rest for the uh, workers to put back. And those were those crane stationary. Yeah. You see, I wanted that. That was beautiful. I, I, you know, there's something unique. I guess it's a candle holder or a vase. Oh, maybe it's a drinking cup. Yeah, not sure. So that's everything that I left. And it was linens too, but I put the linens up already. And then I noticed this vintage book. It was about cowgirls. So it kind of caught my eye. And then this little old lady was chatting with me. Western Ranch Women. And then I said, let me put it back. So I had stopped the camera because I remember I had to uh, get, get get the things I left on the table. <laughs> I was so busy filming. So um, the lady, was, she was like, I'll put the things back. I think I put one or two things back and then she came and said she would put the rest back. Because she wanted to look through the stuff. Little old lady was looking at the stuff too. She liked the canoe. And then I got stuck on one of these pocketbooks, but I didn't, I didn't buy it. Cause I know I'm not going to wear it, so I left it. And there, there it goes right there. It was gorgeous. Liz Claiborne, you know, Liz Claiborne, she has some really beautiful stuff. And that was cute. It had a cute little stitching on it. It was brand new. The tags were on it. Oh, man, I kind of wish I would have bought it, but it's too late now. $10. I think if it was a couple bucks, I may have purchased it. I was showing you all the children's section that they have. If you have kids, you should make it to this store. Do you see that? It's amazing. They got 
hours on top of hours of baby and infant clothes and toddler clothes. Wow. And then it goes on and on. It's even behind there. And then they have shelves of like uh, nursery items. I mean, it goes on and on. It doesn't stop. Like, wow. Can they even hang up anymore? And this is the back left corner of the store. That was beautiful. I just bought a pillow, so. They have stacks of pillows and a lot of linens. But a lot of this stuff is so old. Like, they really need to throw it in the trash. I thought about buying that, but it's burgundy, and I don't have any burgundy in my house, so I decided to leave it. It looks red. It's from Pottery Bond, and as you know, Pottery Bond shower curtains are expensive. And it was only, what, a couple bucks they wanted for it, but I don't know. And now I'm thinking of it. It's kind of cute. I don't know. I left it. It had a few stains, and I wasn't sure if they would come out or not, so I just decided to leave it. But if you're going to purchase a used shower curtain, make sure you soak it and wash it really good. Even if it's new. Like, all these things here, it's so old. I thought that was a shower curtain. I was trying to see what it was, but I couldn't find the things where you would hang it up to hook it on the shower rod. So, I just assume it's a tablecloth. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, it's got to be a tablecloth. Two ninety nine for a beautiful tablecloth. And so once I realized it was a tablecloth, I was thinking I could use it in one of my videos. But then I was like, mm, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything like that. So, uh. That was nice. Remember we used to make those out of those ribbons? Peru. That was a cute pillowcase. Some country pillowcases. Country style. That was a beautiful tapestry pillow. Do you guys see how huge this store is? It's awesome. It is huge. If that was your color, that would have been perfect fine. Three long... Brand new pillowcases. 
and that material was so thick and good quality. That brown and white pillowcase was cute on the bottom shelf. And the sheets go on and on and on. They have so many, but it's so old. Like, they're worn. That was in great condition, but it was a full. My son has a full-size bed, but I can't buy that for him. It's too many flowers. He's, maybe when he was younger, but, you know, he's a grown man now. Could you imagine if I put that on his bed and he come home from college? He'd be like, Mommy, what is going on? <laughs> he may not even notice that he'd be so excited to come home because he can get some home cooking. Oh, I really like that, but it was just too small. But they had a large on it. As you can see, it says L for large, but I kept looking at it. And I said, that don't look like a large, and I'm not. I'm skinny, but I ain't that skinny. I mean, that shirt was narrow, but it was gorgeous. See how skinny it was? <laughs> I don't think that was a large. I normally find one or two dresses in this store. I didn't find any today, but I really didn't take my time and look. Because by this time, I had been in the store almost two hours. I was exhausted. And it goes on and on. I'm not even done yet. There's so many things that I didn't film. Like they have aisles in, in the, where the clothes racks are on top of the racks. They have all dishes and knickknacks. But I just, I'm exhausted. You can't, you know, you can film but so much. As you can see, I didn't look at each piece. It's just too much. It's overwhelming. I want to buy one of those one time. The leopard print sweaters. I just got to wait till I find the one that, that I really like. And then I noticed these up top. They're just beautiful. Oil on canvas. Beautiful. That one was $199. And then I was like, wow, I passed a lot. Let me go back. And those were some um, dogs. They were so cute. And then a beautiful um, horse scene. And that one was $199 as well. Very pricey. And this one, I think, was um, $99. So you see how they have knickknacks on top of the clothes racks? If you look straight ahead, you can see each aisle has knickknacks on top of their clothes racks. Baskets. A bowl and pitcher. A butter dish.
See all those jeans? I mean, the jeans go on and on. This store is huge. You can be in here for two days and still not see everything. That was beautiful. It had a crack. I think they wanted, was it $10 for it? Oh, $16, $16.99. I like how their tags are. The prices are nice and big and you can see them. So, I don't open bags, but if they're open, I will dig through it. <laughs> but I will never open up a bag. If I, want, if I want to see something in the bag, I'll just purchase it. This was a beautiful Asian piece. I think it was made in China. I mean, Japan. Can't remember. It was gorgeous. Just a few pieces. Some were missing. And that was chip because I would have purchased that beautiful fish. And then I started looking through the clothes, but I stopped. It was just too much. Oh, <laughs> you see that, guys? You know, I love that. <laughs> Okay, and then they have another furniture section towards the front of the store. And those pillows, if they were new, I would have purchased those. They were cute, very expensive too. And this was a beautiful Asian piece. A one forty nine is a great price. That's Asian, right? I believe so, with those buckles. And then that's when I found that uh, thing of gemstones. That was a good find <laughs> for $1.99. <laughs> I mean, this store goes on and on. Pocketbooks. And they have more pocketbooks on a whole nother side. In the back there, they have pocketbooks and bags. We passed it, but I didn't dig in it. Every time I find these basket kind of bags like you would take to the beach, they're always in rough shape. I'm not sure why. If you're new here, please subscribe. So you will get a notification when I post more videos. And if you're watching, could you please comment or hit the like button to help my channel grow? When you hit the like button and you leave a comment, it pushes my channel to other people so they could uh, watch and so they could hit the like button. They could subscribe and they could like and comment. Yes. I've been blessed. I have some women that just love me. They comment every day. I don't even know how God works miracles, but he's, I mean, they're angels.
I did grab a few out of here, but um, I didn't purchase them. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Well, $3.99, but... So I decided to grab those two beautiful purses and I didn't buy either. They have some beautiful vintage leather belts. And then they have some scarves and hats up top. That was a Christmas scene, like carolers. I never saw a scarf like that. That was cute. But how could you even like show it? Because if you weird, you have to like squish it together. Maybe you could use it as a tablecloth. They have gloves, earmuffs, oh, hats, sun visors. There's a beautiful couch coming up. I'm going to show it to you. It's way in the back, and you see they have rows and rows and aisles of these shoes. Oh, my goodness. I was overwhelmed. I did want to look, but it's just too many. I did like those. They're very comfortable shoes. I could use those thrifting. So I did try them on off camera. They were too tight. That was Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> I think I'm, that couch right there, isn't that beautiful? It has a beautiful shape. It's antique. It looks like someone reupholstered. I was trying to show you the legs, like beautiful legs on it. It's, it's, you know, legs in the middle, legs on either end. I couldn't even show it, so you don't even really know what it was. They had it covered, but it was gorgeous. It was Victorian style. I, if I was going to purchase it, I would reupholster it because whoever put that up. And this is some more things I took out the cart. I decided to leave those. Oh, that was a bummer. That sugar and creamer from Japan. It was a beautiful porcelain flower set. But uh, it was $6.99. It was a bit high for resale. So, And then, you know, I do collect those. But it was kind of cheaply made for a dollar, so I left that. And this was quite large i don't know if i want to even ship things that large so i left it and then there's that you see i finally left it in those beautiful uh coasters they were gorgeous they were only 50 cents a piece that was my favorite one yeah, they were from detroit michigan all of them beautiful oh i loved it that one it was like kind of like an art deco style and I'm showing you the table, how long the table is. It's huge. That table is huge. You can't even really see how huge it is in the in the um photograph in the um the camera. Yeah. And that section right there, all that stuff is in all these racks right here is 99 cents. Um hi everybody. So I finally made it back home. And uh, this is my haul. I had Lots of things, but I just decided to put them back because <laughs> you already know we just want to buy everything, but we just can't. But I purchased this because I never see them. If I do, they're asking, you know, at least 
more than 50 this was a dollar 59 and you guys know i collect spoons miniature spoons so i already have one so now i have two so that's wonderful yeah that was a good find i'm happy for that and i'm not sure what this is it looks like some kind of feathers but i know when i do go to antique malls these are very expensive like these feather kind of things so people love feathers. It looks like this came from Wild Daughter. Wild Autumn, it says. Oh, here's the tag right here. Wild Autumn. Not sure what it is. I'll open up and see. It's $1.59. But I love decorating with beautiful feathers. Um, this doesn't appear to be vintage, though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have to Google it. And then I got these, but... I put them, I contemplate, I put them back and forth because it's missing. It shouldn't have a top. Some creamers don't come with tops. This was $4.99. This is for resale. It's beautiful. Hobnail. Um, I don't see a mark on it, do I? Sometimes you got to get your magnifying glass. It's a little, it could be fitting or hobnail. I mean, fitting hobnail. Well, we'll I'll figure it out, but they don't always come with tops in fact i don't think so because there's no rim for a top but i had to google that and then this was so cute a glass baby crib for a dollar 59 <laughs> you know i collect miniatures i'm gonna put that in my dollhouse it's so cute and this is how i find my miniatures just like that one by one and i got a beautiful pewter salt and Pepper shaker, I believe, like one is asparagus, and um, this is artichoke. They're beautiful. They have the beautiful mark on the bottom. Um, you know, I do collect salt and peppers, you, not just any old ones, but pewter, come on, vintage. I couldn't resist them for $3.99. They do need some cleaning, though. You see, it's a lot of crying. That's just the pepper. That's all that is, is the pepper. The peppers are always like that. So artichoke and some asparagus. That is just beautiful. I love this. I fell in love with that. Okay, with a great price. And then this is gorgeous for 99 cents. This is Blue Sky. Blue Sky is very popular right now. This is for resale. So the only thing I'm keep so this is this is for resale. And this is for resale. And the rest is mine. And I had another beautiful um, creamer and sugar from Japan. But as I further investigated, it had a little chip. So I decided to leave that. And then I found this at the end. You see that beautiful piece of pie right in there for $1.99. So we're going to open that. I see a piece of amethyst. Maybe some jade or emerald. I'm not sure. But you know, I love gemstones. And I got this beautiful vintage Ralph Lauren shirt. My size are large. I love it. I love this. You know, I love animal print. And that's so similar in color. Brown and black. I love it. Has a bow tie. You will see me wear it. <laughs> I wear it. That's, that was a plus. But let's open this up and see what's in here. And I also went to Ace Hardware. Let me show you what I bought. Some sterling silver polish. You can use this to... Uh, polish your silver pots or your silver wear or your jewelry. And this is what I always use. See, also great for cleaning sterling, silver plate, and gold jewelry. It's amazing. It's expensive, but it's worth buying. And that's, I, that's all I've, I, I ever use for my sterling. Okay, let's see what's in here. Maybe we'll move some things back out the way. And then pour this out on this bag. That was a cute little find. That sun, sand, sand dollar. I may even keep it. <laughs> I mean, but that's a good flip for a dollar. I'm sure it, it runs. I don't know. Blue Sky is quite expensive. It's something that small. They're probably asking. I'm anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars. I'm not sure. It looks like there's a bracelet in here too. Oh, that's cute. Little stone bracelet. Oh, in fact, that's Larimer. What? Get out of here. It's Larimer. You see that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm super excited. Oh, <laughs> that is cute. Cheaply made stretch, but neither the less. That's some beautiful Larimer. You see that brown and that beautiful blue? Mm, that's it. 
and this is what I was going for because remember I have little pieces and I got a big piece now isn't that something that is beautiful that's pyrite oh it's gorgeous I love it I'm gonna add it right to my collection and what do we have here I'm not sure what this is a nice big chunk I had to google that one I'm not sure I don't know what that is and this is some amethyst beautiful beautiful raw rough piece gorgeous nice size i'm happy with this look at this tiger eye that's african tiger eye oh that is beautiful that's a rough piece <laughs> you know this was a last minute find because that's what that's why you got to be patient and walk all around the store even when you're in pain i must have sat down i don't know how many times oh some beautiful i don't know if those are emeralds or jades look like emeralds beautiful Oh, another piece of pyrite and a few other little bits, some shells, cute, and some more amethyst. There's, some, there's a crystal right here. Look at that. Wow. Nice crystal. Tip, beautiful. Another piece of pyrite. This was a great find. <laughs> another piece of pyrite. Wow. Great, great, great find. Okay, so that's my haul. And then you get a cute little jar <laughs> that is cute yeah i'm really excited about this i didn't even know that was in there that is beautiful beautiful i will be wearing that when i wear my larima and you see that string is out there all you have to do is push it back in you just slide these over and slide it and that's how you make them i'll make some straight stress bracelets at some point yeah. i have a lot of idea for bracelets and stuff because i have so many beads but you know it's not easy just to do, you know, everything. I can't do everything. I'm only one person with no help. Okay, I hope you like my haul. I think my favorite find, <laughs> uh, it's got to be this. Because like I said, I never see them. Not for no $1.59. That's gorgeous. And that's an antique. And then my second find is like this pyrite, this Larimar. These cute. I, I got a lot of favorites on this trip. This was amazing. Okay, so God bless. Um, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.